see this crack right here look at that brand new swimming pool year old it's got a crack in it we're draining the pool now and we're gonna fix it so today's video is gonna be showing you the process of how this all works we've got the guy from imagine here and he's gonna be doing a repair on this and we have some crazy information that you've never heard before that Mike's gonna talk about experience and all of that so that's what we're doing today let's get into it where, where you say you'll hear it move like on the sides yeah that's wild because when the water pressure comes out walls come in and it relieves that pressure so if the rock has somewhere to go you'll hear it especially if it's loose gravel like there's one that i'm going to up here and by dayton dude, and they use freaking pea gravel so never use pea gravel oh no not that round craft like that round river oh not gravel. not oh okay no no no, no and not the smaller pea gravel isn't really that good either well we if we use anything it's it's a crushed half inch minus rock the crush works because it packs better yeah it packs they never use round round it's too volatile it just moves oh, well like me and you walking next to the pool before it's installed if you walk on top of it it'll push the wall in that's how much it, I, I i was up in wisconsin one time when i first started with this job and there's a pool that broke really bad and i, I was walking next to the pool dude and, I, all I did, and all i did was just walk and it literally bellied the whole wall in for me walking next to it like the shit it dropped down like a foot no -uh. yeah i was like how does that even pot he's like what happened i was like dude i don't know i said i was walking through there dude and i was like it pushed it down it shouldn't do that what kind of shell is it it was an illusion like old boys i'm gonna go do that pad on no was... way bro i could well because we so we back full with eights i run i can run a play compactor yeah. pretty much next to it and it's fine and obviously walking is never an issue no. they're, they're just solid yeah you use that gravel though, dude. You're running into a lot of problems, That's especially wild. if you get groundwater in it, and then you get like a little pocket. That that river out goes wherever the water goes. Jeez. And then we'll so what's the first order of business? Just grind it down. Yeah, I gotta grind it out so I can add glass to it. Mm. I don't even think it went into the glass. Doesn't even look like it, does it? No. Just like it's a surface crack. Oh, yeah, it's cracked. Yeah, it's got a crack. Yeah. You can't see it real good. <laughs> got a little mouse. That's gross. You don't think it caused a crack? No, it was just right here, so I just went ahead and took it out. Okay. But so the, the crack pocket. was all through here, but once I ground up to it, then I started getting into the air pockets. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to take it out. See, that's solid all up in there. Yeah, but I don't think, see, we're not pushing down that much to where it's opening that crack. Yeah. So I think we're fine. So I'm going to put, I'll just put a patch of glass here, sand that over, and then I'll putty it in, then I'll spray the whole thing. What, what, what if, look at the shell, it comes up. Yeah. And that's probably what's doing it, eh? It's a possibility. What happened, Mike, is that uh, some of this may have washed a little bit down or settled down a little bit, and the steps stay where they're at, and it just kind of separated them a little bit. I mean, that could be, but I'm looking at this, and I'm like, it's coming down. This one just has a look at that hump. That could be keeping it up. You know what I mean? Well, You're I not think even... you got backfill there. No, I don't think so. Because it's it, solid, and then it, it goes down here. And it starts well, it's moving. flexing when you stand on it. See? Right here? Yeah. If you stand here, it moves, so... I don't think it's even hitting backfill quite because it's so humped. Maybe yeah. it is. Maybe it is. I'm wrong. I don't know. Well, we'll have to. It's kind of tough to tell. I think it'll be fine, but if it does end up cracking back, then yeah. We'll yeah. Just, just trying to determine what was actually, you know, the issue. What's actually causing it. But yeah. Honestly, I've seen them move way worse than that. And yeah. Fixed up with, with trash cans. I, trash cans isn't going to serve a purpose there, so it's kind of pointless. Yeah. To put it on there. Just patch it up with glass, get the crack filled in. Call it a day. Go from there. That's it. Yeah. That ain't much. No. That's nothing. So it's not really stressing that much. It was, I think it was more or less gel cracks than anything. That's why I didn't grind all that out. I just took the gel crack out. I got you. Okay. I love my grinder. Thing is a beast. How long does that typically take to dry? About 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Ugh. Look at that. 
just patched it, locked it all in. And then they said about 40 minutes to dry and then I think we're gonna be putting gel coat on top of that and buffing it out. I'm gonna influence it a little bit. The putty? Yeah, I'll make a, I thicken it up with their capsule. Yeah. And then I add a little patch right into it. I'm gonna turn it into like creamy peanut butter. And then that goes on next? Yeah. And then after that, gel coat? Just plain gel coat. See, this is this is gel coat, but it's just got this mixed into it. So the right. next step will be just plain gel coat with uh, with patch aid still, because patch aid actually helps speed the process up a little bit on the gel coat. Because yeah. gel coat will take a little longer. Yeah. Right, to cure off. So I'll take this. I'll put this on there to form it and fill in all those spots. Nice. I use playing cards. Playing cards. Yep. That's how I spread it. Gold ones, man. The hundred dollar ones. That's right. What's up? Menards all day. <laughs> the robot register, three dollars a pack. What, this? Astone. Astone? Yeah. 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 Might sand through on a couple spots, but that's fine. You're mainly forming it back right there. Yeah. And sand it back. And then I'll tape it off and then I'll spray another layer on it. Sand that down and then we'll be out of here. Alright, you all, it's about the end of the day. I went and worked on a retaining wall. The pool's been filling up. And uh here we go. Look at that, huh? Can't even hardly tell. There's a little bit of a line, but that's clean, man. That looks good. Thanks, guys, for watching. That's what it looks like to 
drain a pool, repair, support it. You guys can see where the supports are on those ones. And uh, I don't show much about that, but I hope you guys liked the video, enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I appreciate everything. Check out the mentor program linked in the description.